So Valentine's is fast approaching and you know how we do it. We're going to design an awesome good looking flyer like this one for our Valentine's. And as you know, this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for joining us. If you're old here, I'm super glad you've been here till now. So um, we are almost at 3K with this video. Let's get to 3K in about one week. Yes, we can do it. So let's quickly jump into Photoshop and then let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to use the file size A4. Obviously, you can use any size that you want. Probably like A5 will look cute. And these are my things. These are basically the resources that I'm going to use in this video. So we're going to set up the background. And then we import some of the things that we're going to use and then we add some special effects using this lens flares in that let's do this okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a gradient to this probably i've said my gradient okay so this is it if you want to know um the hexa code this is it so after setting it you click ok and then you change the size to reverse so i'm going to just reverse it and then um probably scale it out a little bit because i don't want it to be all that black okay so we click okay when we are done we are going to use these resources so basically they are going to come hand in hand okay so um, the first thing that i'm going to import in here is this uh plenty lava of course if you're having just something with just let's say a file or a lab on it you can use it okay so i'm going to get rid of the background and then i'm going to use my polygonal axo tool just like i said i'm using just a part of this okay so i just cut off this area copy it out and then i'm going to send it to my flyer so i basically position it over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to filter and then blur and then i'm going to blur this out a little bit that is Gaussian blur because I don't want it to appear so hard on the flyer so I click OK when I'm done and then I'm going to duplicate that by pressing ctrl J send it over here press ctrl T and then I'm going to resize it to be a little bit bigger and then I position it right over there so that's cool right so the next thing that I'm going to import over here is this splash thing over there so i'm going to import it straight into my flyer and then because it is a png i don't need to go and cut off the areas and stuff like that so i'm going to position it somewhere around here try to make sure that i have it right in position but then one thing that i'm going to do is i will reposition it once i bring the main lab thing over there so this one too, i'm going to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then i'm going to blur that one also because i don't want it to look hard on it so quick one we click ok and then we go back and then we're going to open our heart this is the main thing over there so i'm just going to double click here to unlock it pick my eraser to probably the magic eraser tool and then with a click i'm going to get rid of the white background so i'm just going to send it over to our valentine flyer and then i'll press ctrl t to resize it a little bit and then position it away so with this i think it looks good with the original background the one that we just said but looking at this it looks a little bit pale so i'm going to press ctrl m to activate the curves and then i'm going to drag this a little bit to make it look more valentine right so basically that's it we are done with the background and then the main thing for it what we're going to do next is we're going to add test to this so i'm going to i'm going for my test tool and then i'm going to select the color this particular color over there so i'm going to type something like valentine's party so the font that i'm using for this valentine is lovely home so basically i'll put the link to it in the description so if you want to check it out you can go for it in the description so we press ctrl a to position it in the center and then we press ctrl d to deselect it okay so that is it we just duplicate this 
part or this valentine test and then we're going to change that one to party okay so the font that i'm using for this one is axo it will be also in the description i'm going for the semi bold or probably the bold one either of them that you decide to go and they are going to have basically the same color okay so i just try to position it over here it has to be in the middle so control a and then you position it in the middle so we try to resize it to make it look awesome and stunning with the valentine's now next i'm going to type in a couple of tests over here basically you are invited to the and then I'm going to make use of just EXO, but this time around with a different font type. So I'll fast forward this area and catch you when I'm done. While over here, I would like to explain a little things. So I used the font Acrobat for this particular test, but basically the arrangement is almost the same well what i'm going to do right from here is i'm going to add this particular rectangle to over here i'll select my rectangle and then draw a rectangle probably like this one and it's picking the same color as the one we used in writing the title okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to filter and then back to blur i'm using a lot of blur today but don't worry so we go to motion blur this time around I've been asked a question on this on how to do this one so you see how the motion goes that is basically it the more you increase the distance here the more the motion goes so you can decrease it if you want it to be a little bit smaller like that and then you click ok so that is it so from here I'm going to add another test to this so I'm going to duplicate this test and then I'm going to add another test to it okay so when i'm done i'm going to close this up a little bit like that and then i'm going to make sure it is exactly in the middle because i want the alignment to work so i'm going to select my rectangle to over here and then draw a rectangle around this one so basically like this set the field to zero right click and then go to the blending option and then i'm going to add a stroke to this one so i'm just going to select the color white for this one so that it gives it a style okay so the next thing that i'll do is basically add your venue or anything you have on this flyer but in this flyer i'm not going to add a venue but you can add something like let's say your uh, website which of course i'm preparing my website i'm going to use my facebook okay so afterwards we are almost done with this party but then we want to add some sort of effect to this i almost forgot this one so let me add it let's quickly go back to um the first gradient that we set and let's go and bring this red roses you know we can't have valentine's for that roses right so this red roses also would be here and then we would like to position it right in the middle so we're going to set the blending mode to overlay and then we're going to decrease the opacity slightly a bit but then we don't want this ones around here so i'm going to right click and rasterize add a layer mask to this and then i'm going to select my brush tool and then clear off the whole of this area so we have a little bit of roses in our design so when we zoom out this time around this is what we're going to do so the final thing that we're going to add will be the effect so first of all i'm going to add this first one this first effect here and it would have to be on top of this particular um love thing there so i'm going to bring it in and then i'm going to change the blending mode to screen of course and then i'll go to filter blur and then gaussian blur over there so i'm going to blur it a little bit and then i click ok so we can just rasterize this layer and then we position it right over here note that the more you increase the size the more it shines okay so if you if you decrease it like this you see it can't shine like that so you increase it the more to make it shine 
them all so we're going to duplicate that one onto the valentine's that is the valentine test you don't have to go and bring it back because we already have it so i duplicate it and then send it over to my valentine's this time around it will be here it will be around here so you press ctrl t if you want to i mean if you want to let it shine the more shining is good you know so that is it the next one that we're going to bring in is of course the final one so i'll select my party over here because i want it to be on top of the party so i'll bring this optical 3d lens flare and then i position it right over here so i click ok then change first of all let me rasterize it and then change the blending mode to screen so i have it right over here and then I'm going to filter blur and then Gaussian blur. Okay, so I'm going to blur it a little bit like that. And then I'm going to resize it, make it a little bit bigger, but then resize it vertically also to make it pop right into my party test. Okay, so basically like that. And then I'll drag it from this side also to make it pop right into my test so afterwards i don't want this part so i'm going to add a layer mask to it and then i'm going to brush off these areas so basically that is it so finally let's do some final touches let's try to make this a little bit black more like that and let's try to get off this lens flare over here a little bit so that is it that is how to make a cute nice looking flyer for this valentine's of course so if there is anything that you want to add to this that would be at your own creativity level thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll get back to you with another one but also don't forget 3k soon i'll see you in the next video innocent here bye